old Natty here. So, uh, I guess about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I um, issued a challenge to um, to a number of folks, see if they were um, willing to explain why in a particular video I was using swings and what was the reason, what was the purpose. Um, shout out to Dave and Eric who took the challenge and pretty much got the answer. Um, I also asked, how does that uh, relate to Superman, which the guys really didn't address. But um, if you understand this, then you can basically um, program for anything you want. Um, so Superman got his superpowers uh, because he was born on a different planet, a planet with a much higher gravitational pull. And he grew up living with that. He grew up living under a load we don't live under. Um, so his muscles got stronger, they got denser, his bones got denser. When he came to Earth, that load was lifted and um, there he is much stronger but now in a sense the weight vest has been taken off um now of course we know if, if through uh the astronauts that if we which is interesting if we go when astronauts go into outer space and uh gravity is lifted they very quickly start to experience uh, muscle atrophy um and actually they have uh exercise machines and stuff they are to do up there so when they come back to earth they're able to to regain and get back to where they were before they left much more easily easier and quicker um so what's the point why do we train um what is training training is a stimulus to your body of something to survive, of something uh, to adapt to. That's what you're doing when you train. We, we are evolutionarily programmed um, to survive. Feast or famine, fight or flight. Uh, and our body reacts to all stimuluses out of that mechanism. If you understand this, then you can program for most anything. Um, you don't need all kinds of research and meta-analysis and, and over-examination of stuff. Um, since your body is, is primitively programmed, it cares about one thing, your survival, feast or famine, fight or flight. Your body is very resistant to building muscle because muscle is expensive um, if you're concerned about survival. Uh, muscle requires food energy 24 7 3 6 5 um, for most of us in wealthy industrial societies um, uh, we're not not threatened by lack of food so we don't even think about that um, but Evolutionarily, food was scarce. So your body is always looking um, for a hole, somewhere to, to reduce your muscle size, take some muscle back, or and or make your muscle more efficient. Um, so in this particular workout, I'm doing um, eight count bodybuilders with um, a renegade row inserted um, and I'm including um, a dumbbell in each hand 20 pounds and a 15 pound vest and basically in a sense um, I'm applying a higher level gravity to my body um, we all well all you burpee guys understand the benefits of all the different burpee variations so 
here we got a squat built in we got a deadlift built in uh, when we toss in the rows with uh, a load we got our pulling movement we add the weight vest that allows us to load the pushing movement and then the extra weight together our legs our low back have to deal with um so in the other video where i issued the challenge i was using swings uh, like i said i pestered the crap out of lee about squats um when you the greatest stimulus generated in your body the great the thing that will throw the greatest um trigger to push your body or get it to develop the way you want it to is working your biggest muscle groups you light them up and then you can piggyback off of that so you want to work from the ground up hips thigh buttocks into your pulling muscles into your pushing muscles um so when I'm putting something together, I have categories I kind of put together uh, that I call lower body, full body. And obviously that's a squat category. Swings are a category. Deadlift, jump rope, um, sprints, carries, pushes, pulls, mountain climber, squat thrust, and I specifically say squat thrust because um, that's a four count movement as you start to add push-ups you can kind of pull away from the lower body um, stimulus unless you're at least I feel at least matching one-to-one -one, um, your lower body pull push ratio so in my mind what I'm doing here in this workout is the best form of the burpee because um, you're hitting all your muscles you're hitting um, all the three groups and you got control infinite control over what the load is in the dumbbells in the vest you can choose how many reps you can do you want to do you can choose how you do it you can program this to take you more towards the endurance side of things or you could program this to take you to the strength side of things but the principle that's going to drive that change the change you're after is going to be working lower body Pull, push, and I think sometimes I I would even switch up to push, pull. I think that's less important because of the or smaller percentage of your muscle groups. But um, generally speaking, you burpee guys are too invested in push-ups. Um, very roughly, and everybody's a little different genetically. Um, the lower body is rough, roughly. For example, 50% of total muscle mass is lower body. Most of the time, generally, the pulling group would be 30%, the pushing group would be 20%. You burpee guys are investing 60, 65% of your effort into 20% of total muscle group. You're just not going to get the stimulation out of that. It's not enough kick and you're working against yourself. If you would actually put more investment into your lower muscle group and then piggyback off that into your push-ups, you would get more out of your pushing group. And, as I said before, the pushing structure is not that durable. Um, you know, you keep pounding out 500 reps, 1,000 reps of push-ups, you're going to get a shoulder issue, and plenty of people have. Now, yes, it can be done, and there are those genetic freaks, those outliers that make it work. Um, 
and there are ways to do it. But most of it, us don't have the, the uh, genetic potential, the genetic durability, and to be, a lot of us don't even have the time. And those that do, are you really going to crank out a thousand push-ups every day? Um, there are truly a lot more efficient ways, especially if you're after muscular hyper, hypertrophy, um, to do that. Not that super high rep, super high volume doesn't work. It can work, but it, it, it comes at a much greater cost. It is not the most efficient or smartest way uh, to go after muscular size um, in any part of your body, uh, and especially your pushing structure. So, um, old natty, I'm out.